Silver trays underneath the rear wheels, handbrake on, best game in the world. Right, musical chairs, let it begin. <laughs> right, you're now steering. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go for the driver's seat. Oh, your hair! Oh, get off! Your bottom is touching my sausage. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, go back! Go! 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 Back. go, back. go, back. go back. The 80s were brilliant. They were better. This... <laughs> but when we saw the People's Palace, we sort of stopped. The pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is the rainbow I've been praying for. It's gonna be a bright. Right, off you go. Have you got the hammer and stake? Yep. Oh. Your ropes come off! James May. <laughs> Catch that! Catch it! Somebody's out. <laughs> Love your move. Good answer. Half a tank of jag fuel later, the match was over. And India had won. 63. Yes! yes! <laughs> Do you know what it is? We've all done it. Oh, has Hammond Hammond's done, done it? 150. Fantastic. He's celebrating in the honey bucket. <laughs> Hammond! <laughs> Hammond! What? He did it! What, 160? Yes. 163. Hey! <laughs> We've all hit our target. We've Hang all done minute. it. We were ambitious and for the first time ever successful. And we've never been good at anything before. We've been factual. <laughs> No, uh, there's been a bit of a mistake. I'm disappointed. I thought we were going to make it. Oh, sorry, mate. The cup sank. With typical good grace, Jeremy came back to pick us up and then announced we'd have to go back to Dover. OK, mate, we'll slow down. We're a team up here, because this isn't funny. Oh, Jeremy's talking about being a team. Must be the altitude. He's <laughs> <laughs> brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, though? I'm satisfied with that, and anyway, that's it. I have to go. I have to go back to the world of daytime telly. Boys, it's been a joy. Goodbye. It's been great having you here. Thanks for coming. quite something. Have you really got me a present? Oh, yes. Yeah, we've both been amazed. Oh. That your first bite right. I think to come up here on this road, you deserve your present now. James, present him. Okay. Your present. That is very... striking. Yes. Chat. Funny enough, that's the word I used, it is. Watch this for a perfect about. I'll give you a hand. <clears throat> Have a beer. Now, there were two of us to savour this amazing location. I've just been finding out about this place. The people who live here are born here, they live here, they fish here, and they die here. You see, back in 1994, I was living in London. I got a call one evening from my mum to say that my dad was desperately ill in a hospital in Sheffield and I needed to get there as quickly as possible. And I'd just taken a chicken out of the oven and I thought, well, I'll take that for my mum because she won't have eaten, ran outside, and I had a 9 to 8 on test that week. And when I arrived in Sheffield, the chicken was still warm and my dad was still alive. In fact, he died half an hour later. 
And the truth is, if I hadn't have been driving a car which could sit quite happily at 170 miles an hour, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to say goodbye to my dad. And this is our purpose-built test track. There are no traffic jams here, well, apart from this one, and no bus lanes either. This is Top Gear. And in the show tonight, I put two supercars head-to-head. -head. Jason Dore on what to do when car dealers attack. I found short of three grand. But will that be enough? Richard Hammond will try to beat a speed camera and a star in a reasonably priced car. Good night. It's, um, it's very sad, and it's not the only British motoring institution that's coming to an end. We are. Aww. This is not just the last two of the series. I've been sorry, it's the show as you know it is actually ending with, you know, the track, the audience, us three in bad <laughs> really badly fitting jackets every week. <laughs> uh, well, this is the last one. It is. It is, and it's it's sad, but we have been doing it together for 17 yeah. years. 16. OK, that's... You were late. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but was. nevertheless, we do feel the time has come. Actually, that sounded like one of your more successful after-dinner speeches. Do you know it was? Nobody even threw crockery for another minute. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed those films, and all that remains now is for us to say thank you for watching. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for watching, and... Well, goodbye. Goodbye.